Okay, so what I might do is just share my screen and we will get started. One second. So you are all welcome to the Alpha Marriage and Parenting Course breakout room where we'll be looking at the Alpha Marriage, Alpha Pre-Marriage, and the Parenting Children and Parenting Teens courses. Um, some of you may be familiar with these courses. You may have uh, been on one as a participant, or you may have run one in the past. Um, so it's just a great opportunity to kind of look at all four of these courses and um, how they might fit into um, your church or your parish um, or your community. Because really, we feel that these alpha courses um, really provide a way to serve your church or your local community, um, whether that be in your church building or your home um, or in a neutral space. Um, so we'll get started. So these four courses, the pre-marriage course, the marriage course, the parenting children's course, and the parenting teenagers courses, really look at the stages of family life. In an ideal world, we might say uh, a young couple who's preparing for marriage would approach the church and could go through the marriage preparation course. And then perhaps a few years into marriage, they might take the marriage course when small children come along. Uh, they might be ready to do the parenting children's course, which is really for parents of children between the ages of three and 11. And then as those children get older, uh, you have your parenting for teenagers course, which is obviously for um, the teens in, in the family. Um, but as we know, it often doesn't happen that way. And one of the great things about the marriage and parenting courses is that they can often be a gateway into the church for people. So obviously a lot of people may come into the church because they took an alpha course, or maybe they had a youth alpha uh, course that was offered at school or through um, a parish youth group or something like that. But it can also come the other way. People can actually come into the church or into the alpha suite through the marriage and parenting courses. Oftentimes people who may not really be interested or ready yet to take an alpha course might be interested in a parenting course um, or a marriage course. So really the idea there is that through all of the alpha courses and the suite that we offer, um, there would be ways that people could kind of come into the church, sort of a gateway, if you will, into the church. And that perhaps a couple that goes on a marriage course um, might then a couple months later be interested in an alpha course. And maybe after the alpha course, they start attending, you know, Sunday services or other church functions uh, more regularly. So the idea really with the Alpha Suite is to really meet people wherever they're at on their journey and their stage of life and to really offer something to support uh, marriages and families. One of the things that's different between the Alpha and Alpha Youth programs courses versus the parenting and marriage courses is that they're not as explicitly Christian, the um, the hosts on the videos do pray um, throughout a couple times throughout, and they would mention scripture passages. But really, it's designed um, to look at things, let's say, that are outside that realm. So, and we'll go through some of the topics later. But um, it, and that's why I'm saying it could be a really good gateway into the church for people who maybe just aren't there yet in terms of uh, practicing their faith. Um, so I might just start by praying, by playing, excuse me, the marriage course trailer. Um, and this will give you a little taste of what's covered in the marriage course. Marriage involves two people, they meet. You found me really attractive, really quickly. <laughs> They fall in love. She's passionate. <laughs> they get married and embark on a relationship that's designed to be one of increasing intimacy. I really couldn't see my life without her. But that's not automatic. We have to keep working at our marriage. Because I wasn't getting much affirmation, I started getting that from other places. Our marriage was nearly over. 
If you start building good habits in your relationship, you'll be reaping the effects of those choices in 5, 10 or 20 years' time. I can't let my past define my future. We have to build our own reality. The aim of the marriage course is to strengthen the connection between you as a couple. Love grows us. This is not a silly sentimental idea. This is science fact. How about one that we don't really hear about? How about this one? Fun. Marriage ought to be fun. If you're not having fun, what's the point? The marriage course is built on universal principles that are relevant to any couple anywhere. In years to come, you'll look back on having built a marriage as perhaps the most important achievement of all in your lives. Marriage involves two people. They meet. Okay, so we'll start just by going through the marriage and the pre-marriage courses. Um, a lot of the structure and format between the two these two courses is very similar. Um, John spoke there in the main session about the culture of Alpha, particularly prayer, invitation, and hospitality. And these are obviously key components to any of the Alpha courses, particularly with the marriage and pre-marriage courses. Um, as I mentioned there in the introduction, um, in terms of invitation, it's really a great course to invite people to um, who, like you said, might not be uh, practicing or attending church. Um, it could be great to invite family or friends or people you know. Oftentimes, um, the location for the marriage and pre-marriage course may be in someone's home or um, it may be in a parish hall that's sort of set up and decorated to look quite different than it might usually look. So it's really... Um, an opportunity to invite people, couples who you know. And um, the uh, hospitality piece of the marriage courses, because the couples um, sit together, just the two cup, two people, um, you'll need a number of small tables um, spread out uh, wherever you're doing it, whether it's at a home um, or whether it's uh, in a parish hall. Um, you could also use couches or something like that or chairs because the discussion, unlike Alpha, the Alpha course and Alpha Youth, there are no small groups. The small group is the couple. So you need to allow space for privacy um, for the discussions to happen. The um, the actual format of the course um, is video based and you would have the video playing um, and then there'd be pauses throughout. So you'd have an opportunity to, as if you're hosting it, the, the video tells you when to pause the video or actually you can just keep it playing and it might do a countdown with some nice kind of background music for five minutes while couples then work on questions in the journals. Um, and we'll speak about the journals uh, a little bit later on. Um, so because of that, there is an opportunity to sort of set up a, a special atmosphere where you might do little decor on the tables or some small flowers. Again, it doesn't need to be anything expensive. It can literally just be something to kind of warm up the space and make it a bit special for the couples. And then prayer, as we as we mentioned, um, even though you won't really be praying, let's say, with the couples on the course, um, that's not really part of the course. Um, it is important that you and your team, if you have a small team, are praying, as John said, praying about who you might invite, praying for everything to go well, praying for the technology to work, all of those things. And the last thing I want to mention is the team. So it really just depends on where you're having the course and how many people you expect. If you were to, let's say, invite five or six couples, then really, you don't really necessarily need a team. You might just be able to do everything on your own or you as a couple or maybe two people that you know um, might, might help you with it. 
Um, even if you run it at, in a larger setting or with a larger group, you can usually still get away with a small team because as I mentioned, there's no hosts and helpers the way you'd have an alpha because there's no small groups. So again, if you were expecting, let's say 15 couples and you were having it in a parish hall or a church hall, um, you might still need someone to help with the food. You might need someone to help with the decor and possibly someone to help with the tech. But again, you could get by with a very small team uh, to run the marriage course. Um, I would say just one thing in terms of food, as John said in the introduction, um, it doesn't have to be elaborate. You don't have to do a huge meal. Um, you could do something like tea, coffee, and little desserts. Um, you could do finger foods, or if you wanted to cook something, you certainly could do something like a one pot kind of uh, dinner. Like I said, it's more, uh, I think, having the tea and coffee and kind of having a space for couples to just sort of come into the room and have a minute to sit down with each other, have a cup of coffee and just relax before the course starts uh, running. So that's the marriage course. The pre-marriage course um, is quite similar. I'll just say a, a word on the pre-marriage course for a second. Oftentimes the pre-marriage course is just one couple accompanying another couple. So it might be an older couple or a couple in the church who's accompanying a young couple preparing for marriage. Um, we often see that's how the pre-marriage course is most often run. Um, so if you know a young couple that's preparing for marriage, um, you know, the pre-marriage course is a course uh, you could certainly recommend to them and something you may even be able to run uh, on your own with them in, in, in your home. In terms of the content of the marriage course, there are seven sessions. So it's a seven week course, um, oftentimes potentially with an eighth week that would really sort of be a follow-up and a recap, but there's no content for that eighth week. And you can see the topics there, uh, building strong foundations, the art of communication, resolving conflict, the power of forgiveness, the impact of family, good sex, and love in action. And each week you'll look at one of those topics. And um, my husband and I just recently did the marriage course. We're only married a year. So we were joking. We already need a marriage course, but it was actually brilliant for us. And we had done some of these, um, some of this content in a pre-marriage course that we had done before we were married. But um, with each person and each couple, you know, the different topics are going to resonate differently. The impact of family for us was actually a really um, important uh, week because we're we're both from very different backgrounds, different countries, different cultures. So really, um, every week speaks to the couples in a different way, and it's couples who are like myself, my husband married a year, or couples who've been together for 30, 40 years. Um, it really is designed for everyone, and particularly because those discussions are just taking place between the couple, it can be a really special and sacred time um, for for couples who are journeying through the course. The pre-marriage course is a bit shorter. It's five weeks instead of seven weeks. And you can see the topics there, communication, commitment, resolving conflict, keeping love alive, and shared goals and values. So I'll move on to the parenting courses now, and I'll start by, uh, by said it again, by playing the trailer. Hi, my name's Elaine. Um, I did the parenting course in 2019 just because I wanted to see um, and listen to the experiences of other people, other parents in my local area. Um, I found it really helpful. I found the most helpful thing really was to be safe in the knowledge that you're not on your own. Everybody's experiencing the same things and it's really reassuring to know that. Um, and to be able to be in a space where you can talk to people honestly and openly about your experiences and the things you're going through as a parent. And uh, yeah, it was a really positive experience. I had actually previously done a parenting course when my children were babies. We had at the time three babies, three children under three, and it was a pretty exhausting time. And someone invited me on the parenting course just to kind of get to know some other mums um, and yeah, get some advice on how to navigate um, through the baby stage. Uh, I found it really, really useful. I felt encouraged that I wasn't on my own, that other people were having sleepless nights, and the things that um, my babies were doing was quite normal. 
um, and that makes you feel really encouraged. And I also got tips on how best to parent um, our kids as they grew up. Yes, it had a great impact. It was good to see that I wasn't alone. Chatting with some of the other parents at the table helped me to see some of the common things um, that we struggled with. One thing it helped me to see was that my teenager doesn't necessarily read me the way I think he reads me. And so to help me tweak my response to him. Uh, I really love the relaxed but structured atmosphere of the course, how we could sit around and have a tea or a coffee uh, with a group of parents and discuss different situations. I love the way the videos introduced us to the different families on a regular basis and how they work through uh, their challenges for their uh, children and for themselves. It increased confidence in parenting and I realised, you know, we all know we're all in the same boat, but we really are all in the same boat. We're dealing with the same problems. Um, you know, as a mother, I often find I might be alone, um, but actually we're not. All our friends have the same situations at home and it was so good to share them and um, to be honest amongst um, parents and um, get their tips. You know, the, the course really got, got a lot of um, the right questions to get us talking. They're sort of, in a way, open-ended questions that gave us um, the ability to explore what was happening in our families and in our community. Yeah, and really this course is for you, the parent, and how you can tweak things in a way that will help you be a better parent. And I know from my own experience, each time, and we've done the parenting course quite a few times, each time there's been bits that I have maybe had to relearn, to improve on, and in that way, hopefully be a better parent. Hi, my name's Elaine, um, I did the parent. Okay, so key ingredients of the parenting course. As some of those parents described, the structure is a bit different. So we're back to a small group setting, although um, there's really no need for hosts and helpers. Um, typically the, the parents uh, in the group can just um, moderate themselves. There's questions given in uh, the resource, the guide. Um, we do usually like to, to group parents by the ages of their children. So it's not as big of a deal in the parenting teenagers courses, but of course, but in the parenting children, you know, there's a big difference between, let's say three, four, five-year-olds parenting three, four, five-year-olds and maybe nine, 10 year olds. So when you're creating the groups, it's good to try and put um, groups of those parents together of children of similar ages. Um, Again, like all the Alpha courses, we're looking at invitation, prayer, and hospitality. Um, again, this could be in, done in a home. Um, it could be done in a, a comfortable space, whether that be uh, even something like a, like a coffee shop or a place like that where people might gather or a place where you'd be able to show a video but would be comfortable. So a home or a parish hall or something like that. Um, the timing is one of those things that, um, because it's a parenting course, typically the marriage course is done in the evenings. Um, the parenting course you could potentially do after school. You could even do it after like the morning drop off, um, or in the evenings. There's a bit more flexibility sometimes. I guess it would just depend on the parents' availability, um, but you might have some flexibility there to do it earlier in the day. Um, like all the alpha courses, there's always the hospitality, the social element of just having tea and coffee and snacks. Again, no need necessarily to do a meal, um, but nice to have something for people to nibble on as they arrive and, and start to uh, just have some conversation before the videos begin. And again, it is, it is a video-based course. So you have the video and then you have discussion questions that the, the parents look at in the groups. Um, if it's a small group, of parents, you might just keep them all together. Um, but even if it is a small group and you had those different ages, it might be worth breaking them out, even if they were groups of two or three. So really there's a lot of flexibility. Um, there's not necessarily one right way to do it. And a bit would depend perhaps on even how well you know some of the other parents and, and kind of what they might be looking for. Um, 
And then, as I mentioned, just make sure that you take the time to put those small group together uh, according to the age of the children. And then like all the courses, it's great to have a follow-up. So, um, you know, that could be after the last session where you come back together, or it could also be a great opportunity. For instance, if you know an alpha course is coming up uh, in the next couple of months, and it could be a great thing to revisit with some of the parents and say, we actually have this other alpha course running uh, and you might be interested in coming along. So the follow up for both the marriage and the parenting courses can be a great way to invite um, those couples to the next thing, whether that be an alpha course or another another course or just, you know, coming to church um, and, and meeting people in that in that way. The content, so you can see it's a five uh, session course. Um, you can do it over five weeks or over 10 weeks and just split the sessions. Um, the 10 week course, um, sometimes we do find runs on a little long and you may lose some people, whereas five weeks kind of keeps everything kind of compact and tidy and you can kind of work through um, the material over the five weeks. So you can see the content building strong foundations, meeting our children's needs, setting boundaries, teaching healthy relationships, and our long-term long aim. And again, that's for the parenting children course. The parenting teenager is gonna look at some of the same things, but obviously uh, with a different uh, age group in mind. So keeping the end in mind, meeting our teenagers' needs, setting boundaries, developing emotional health, and helping them make good choices. So what I want to talk now about is the resources and the support available um, at Alpha. So again, like the Alpha course, if you've done that before, you have familiarity with that, um, Alpha does provide um, all of the content. It provides support all, all along the way. Um, it provides training resources and promotional resources. So what I might do now is actually just show you um, the Marriage Builder, which is its own website um, that navigates through the content and the training resources. So the best way to do, um, to set up a course is to contact us. And I will give you my email address at the end. So if you're interested in running the marriage or the parenting course, you can contact me and we'll get you set up on this platform. That's called the marriage builder platform. And once you are set up, you'll have a login and a password and you'll log on. And this will be the screen that you see. You won't have any active courses yet because you haven't set them up yet. But uh, once you do set them up, you'll just start here with create a course and it walks you through a, a handful of questions and just helps you set up your course. It's very easy to use and intuitive. Um, but just to show you, so once you set up your courses, then over here in your active courses, sorry, just give it one second. <laughs> just gonna refresh this page. Okay, so in your active courses here, you can see here is the marriage course. So you have all your session material here in the first tab. And again, this piece was all set up when I registered the course. So this is the time and the date, the dates that it runs and the location of the course. Um, so each session, you have your episode, you have the option to download your episode, we would recommend downloading the course in case you have any issues with Wi-Fi. We'd also recommend making sure, particularly if you're doing it at a home um, or in a parish hall, that you have speakers and either a TV or screen that's large enough. Um, it's not the type of thing you wanna show on a laptop. So it would be something you'd wanna connect to your TV if you're running it in a house um, or perhaps run from a projector and projector screen. So you have the opportunity to download each video and you'll see, you can you can look into them here. So here's all the info. Um, you have your promotion. So in here, it has all sorts of things you can use. It has samples of your Sunday service PowerPoint. It has the logo in case you wanna make flyers. 
It has um, some posters available that you can print and write your information on. It has postcards. So this is all here for you to use um, in your promotion. And you can see there's digital, there's video, and there's print promotion. And then you have your supporting tools. Okay. And what you have in here is your leader's guide, um, which is for you. You have the study journal which is what the participants would use. And then you have information on each of the videos. Down here, you've got um, the sessions. These are the videos without the conversation stops if you wanted to do them in that format. And then you can see there are resources if you're running it online. So here's how to run a course online. Um, there are seven best practices for the leaders. Um, so there's all sorts of, uh, information here you can use. Same thing with the parenting children course. I won't go through this in detail. You can see here's all your session material where you have the option to download the videos. Again, you have promotion and really there's, there's not much there except for the logo, but we, we are designing new brochures or new flyers. Um, so you're welcome to contact us and we can help you have um, get some more promotional material. And then um, again, your tools here for just resources for leaders, resources for guests. The other thing to mention is that the, uh, the resources, uh, these two courses do have resources that accompany them. They have journals that accompany them. So um, if you're interested in running the course, the material is free, meaning the content of the course is free. You can, like I said, contact us and we'll get you set up so you can access all those videos. You can also print on your own PDF versions of um, the leader's guide and the guest guide, but um, they're, they're quite lengthy and really they're lovely journals. And um, we would actually recommend that you purchase them here in the shop. So if you go to alphaireland.org, go to our shop you'll see right at the top the different courses so again if you're interested in the marriage course you can come here you can order the guest journal you can order the leader's guide and if you wanted to have the courses on usb you could um, same thing with um the let's say parenting teenagers course Again, you've got your leader's guide and your guest manual, and you as a church can decide whether or not you, um, you're going to assume that yourself, 